the Sawyer Mini or the Hydro Blue VersaFlow? Which one of these filters is the best? Well, if you want to hear my thoughts on it, keep watching. All right, before we get started, there's just a few things I want to mention. First, the Sawyer Mini is mine. I purchased this, I don't know, maybe seven or eight years ago, and I've used it quite a bit, so I have quite a bit of experience with it. Now, the VersaFlow uh, Hydro Blue, or from Hydro Blue is relatively new to me. I've used it all this summer, so I've gained a fair amount of experience with it, and I think I'm ready to give you some comparisons. Okay, quick background. I mentioned the Hydro Blue VersaFlow uh, in a few videos uh, ago where I said I would be testing it out over the summer, and how I came to be in a possession of this one is I did not buy it. It was given to me, not by the company, by Chris Bernard of Bernard Barnyard Outdoors. Now, I'll give a link to Chris's channel, but Chris was doing a lot of giveaway videos, and he would purchase an item, and if he liked it enough, he'd purchase a second one of the same, and then put it up as a giveaway. And uh, Chris has a relatively small channel, has good material, he deserves more viewers than he has, and I would recommend that you go over and check them out and he does buy a fair amount of kit he is a bit of a kit guy like I am and he uh, he bought one of these and this is what he felt was the best filter out there normally I don't enter his giveaways because I think it's a little bit unfair he doesn't get a lot of people entering them which means my odds of, of uh, winning would be great so I missed out on most of them intentionally but I did want to enter this giveaway on the chance that I might win it because I have for a number of years wanted to have one of these in my position Possession so I could do exactly what we're going to do today, which is to compare the two of them together. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you down to my bench top and I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of all the physical specifications, the performance specifications, all the features, all the extras and accessories, as well as the value of the two of these. I'll talk about my experiences with the two of them and we'll see if we can actually decide if one is better than the other. All right, so we're down at the bench top and I have uh, the two filters in hand here. There are some accessories I'll be showing you in a minute, but I wanted to start off with the filter side by side so you can get an idea of the size similarities and differences. So I do have some cheat notes that I'm going to be working off of here to make sure I get the information correct. And I will, of course, as always, be putting all the information I give you now in the video description below to help you make up your mind if you're trying to decide if you want to purchase either one of these filters. So let's start with the newer of the two, which is the VersaFlow Hyd from Hydro Blue. And it weighs two ounces. It is 5.7 inches long and it is 1.5 inches in diameter. So the Sawyer is a little bit smaller. It weighs 1.4 ounces. It's 5.35 inches long and is 1.35 inches in diameter. So you can see right off of the top, the Sawyer is a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, but they're still very close in, uh, in weight and size, just the same. Okay, now as far as performance goes, and I want you to, I'll come back to these numbers, but I'll mention them now. Well, again, we'll start with the Hydro Blue. So the Hydro Blue removes six log, or 99.9999% of all bacteria, and three log, which is 99.99% of all protozoa. So keep those number in mind because when I mentioned the Sawyer, the Sawyer is rated at seven log as far as bacteria goes and six log as far as the protozoa goes. Okay, so is that a very much of a difference? Practically speaking, for most people, that is, is so close to being the same that you wouldn't notice any performance. Having said that though, when you look at Gear Skeptic's videos on filters, again, I'll put a link to that video in the video description at the end. He'll go into this at a exhaustive detail. You may decide that you want to go with the highest log rating or the highest percentage of particles removed that you possibly can. I also want to point out that these are filters, not ultra filters. They are regular filters. They're only rated for the removal of bacteria and protozoa, not viruses, certainly not chemicals or pesticides or heavy metals or anything else. These are just 
for what we are most likely to encounter when we're out in the woods, unless you're in an area that has heavily industrial or agricultural and there's a lot more pollutants for my area. These types of filters will do most of what I want for me. So they will both work. It's just that the Sawyer has that much of a better rate of removal for the protozoas and the bacterias. Not that the Hydro Blue is bad. It meets EPA standards. It's just that the Sawyer exceeds it. And that is not an insignificant thing. All right, what I want to do is go through each of the two filters, starting with the Hydro Blue, Hydro Blue VersaFlow filter. I'll show you what you get for your money in the basic package. So that is the best comparison against the other product, the Sawyer. I'll also show you what uh, came in my package because uh, Chris did accessorize it a little bit. So it'll show you a few of the options you have going for you. But first let's talk about how the filters work. So the technology used in both filters is exactly the same. Both of them use 0.1 micron hollow core fibers. What's interesting about the hydro blue is there's a little window on the side so you can actually see the fibers running length to limb, uh, length to length but it is the same for both of these both filters have a listed lifespan of a hundred thousand gallons and I've mentioned that in other videos is how do you know when you've reached a hundred thousand gallons well it's unlikely that you're ever going to keep a track of how much you put through this but I will tell you that the lifespan of these filters is directly related to the maintenance that you put them through. So if you regularly back flush out all dirty water with as much force or pressure as you reasonably can, then you're going to extend the life of these a long, long time. And how do you know when it's getting to a point where it's probably time to replace it? The flow rate will slow significantly. It's not that it will stop filtering, it's just that it's now clogged to the point where it's time to filter. It's not any water that does get through is still clean. It's just not going to work as quickly or effectively that way. So that aside, let's go back to this again. So what does this have that the Sawyer doesn't have? Well, right off the top, one of the features I do like is the fact that there are rubber caps on both ends. So this is an inline filter. This would be the input end and this would be the output end and you know that because it says so on the side as well as on the gray area of the filters hard to mistake so your dirty water would flow in here and your clean water would flow out here and you can attach this or use this a number of ways you could attach it directly to the collection bag which I'll show you in a moment uh, you could use this in line with a hose coming out of a, a bag in the back of your backpack you could use it with a couple of lengths of hose as a straw to drink directly out of a pond if you want. So you do have some options there. Actually, both filters do feature that. However, the Sawyer does not have two caps. It only has one cap. Now, why are the caps important? Well, I like the caps for the simple reason. One is it keeps both ends clean, so you don't have risk uh, cross contamination. And the other thing I found with the Sawyer is it sometimes if there was water still in the filter, as there usually is when you're finished using it, it leaked out the back end or the input end into my bag. Now, I do have a workaround. I'll show you when we get to that portion of the, of the video. But uh, it's just nice that you didn't, I didn't have to create a workaround that the, both of the ends of the VersaFlow uh, do have the caps on them. Now, another feature that the VersaFlow has, I'm not sure how well it's going to show up, is if you look at the basal around the outside, there is 12 or numbers one through 12. And what that's in there for is to indicate the month. So the concept is, is you take your cap, you line it up with whatever month you're starting to use it. And that's where you leave it. And uh, you'll know as the months pass, how long you've been using the filter. And uh, Honestly, I'm not sure the value of that for a couple of reasons. Um, I don't know that I'm actually going to care too much how many months I've used this because I'm going to continually black flush it and continually keep it in top working order anyway. And here's the other thing I've discovered. It's happened to me a couple of times. This falls off actually fairly easily. So I would probably forget to move it from the month to month. But it is a feature that they uh, felt was worth putting on and I thought would be worth showing you. Okay, so that's your basic filter. What else came with the package? Well, a rather large collection bag. So this is the dirty water collection bag that comes with the VersaFlow Hydro Blue from Hydro Blue. It has a removable end on it. It has a snap cap 
like this on the end. So you would fill the water in through that hole on the end. You would run it through your filter uh, by screwing it on to the end. Where is the right end? Oh yes, this end. So you'd screw it on to the end like this. And you could squeeze the bag to get the water out, or you could let the bag hang and let gravity do the work, which is the way I usually use this. Um, you should point out as well that the uh, screw top or the uh, threads in each end are the same. It actually has threads in both ends. That's something that the, the Sawyer does not have. So this has threads in both ends. They're the standard 28 millimeter threads, which means any pop bottle can be used. So theoretically you could use two pop bottles, one for collection of dirty water and one to hold your clean water. And uh, it would work out that way. Now, one of the things Hydro Blue does recommend as part of their maintenance is, is that you use clean water in a clean water bottle screw it onto the output end of the uh, filter and squeeze and back flush using the water from that water bottle. Um, honestly, I've tried that. I did that as part of my testing for this. I'm not a fan of doing that. I don't think I can get the pressure on the water on the filter that I can with the syringe that comes with the Sawyer. So, but it is an option. I prefer to use the syringe. You may think that it's okay to use the water bottle. Either way, it still, it does work. It's just not my preference to use it that way. Okay, I'm going to make a few comments about the collection bags when I get to the point of showing you the one with the Sawyer, because as you can see, probably by looking at that one, I've never used it. And there's a reason for that. But as I said, I'll mention it in a minute. Now, the other things that did come with this filter, um, Chris provided this little carry bag and wow, what a nice bag it is. This is from Maxpedition. It's a heavy duty nylon mesh bag that has a main compartment through the top and two side zipper compartments on either side. And uh, it's just perfect for uh, carrying this filter system in. Now, the other things that he did include, and these are not standard accessories, you can purchase them separately, but they're not part of the basic kit. This is a, an activated carbon filter that you would screw onto the outflow end here of your filter. And what it would do is it would clean up the water that's coming through. Now the water will be clean enough to drink, but quite often water has tannins and other flavors and things in it. And uh, the carbon filter will at least clean that up and make the water cleaner looking and better tasting. So if that's important to you, it's nice to have the carbon filter as an accessory. It package that Chris sent did also come with these things, but these things actually work together. This is an extension hose with a clamp and a bucket port. Kind of cool, actually. So if you have a large food grade bucket, you could drill a hole near the bottom on the side and you could unscrew this and there are two seals, run this through the bucket, tighten it back up, point it down, use the hose and use the bucket as your gravity flow for the collection point for the dirty water in the bucket and then flow it into whatever vessels you'll want to from there. Honestly, I don't think I will ever use it that way, but it is an option for those who think that they may. It may be something for more of a long-term survival or prepping option. And, you know, it's kind of nice to have. I could see if I about rigging that up as part of a, a gravity filter system, but uh, honestly, I, I, again, I, I kept it in here more to show you that I had it than anything else. The carbon filter, though, I may see myself using it at some point. Okay, uh, let's go on to the Sawyer, and then I'll show you some of my things that I've done to improve the performance of both of them. So now the Sawyer, the Sawyer Mini. This has been around for a long time. Most people have one of these. And the reason is, is of course, is because they're so inexpensive and so lightweight and so effective. So once again, 0.1 micron hollow core fiber. It uh, has an import on one end and a flow uh, direction on that port and a covered uh, out port on this end. You can attach a screw bottle to the input end but not the output end. So that's one of the things in, in favor of the Hydro Blue. Again, that you can attach pop bottles or anything with a standard 28 millimeter threading to the uh, ends of, uh, of it. 
Uh, what else did it come? It came with a single collection bag, and it's really half the size of the one that comes with the VersaFlow. Uh, but you, of course, you can buy larger bags, and you can get by multiple. So if you want to, you can have extra bags uh, for carrying with the so with the uh, Sawyer. Um, there is not a lot more to say. A hundred thousand gallon lifespan, and I think that's about it. Now it did come with one more thing, and that is the syringe. For back flushing, much more effective way of back flushing. I use that regularly. And it did come with just a little length of rubber hose as a straw. So you could use this to drink directly from a water source as well. So otherwise, they have a lot in common that way. Now, I did say I did a workaround uh, for this, for the Sawyer. And basically what I took is a regular bottle cap, cut it off the end of the bottle, took the screw on cap and glued it on backwards. Simple little device, right? What's that for? Screws into the end of my filter, and now I don't have to worry about water leaking back out and into my bag. Speaking of bags, this is just something I picked up at the thrift store. It's just a little, again, another little nylon mesh bag, a little smaller than the Maxpedition one, not quite the same quality. This is from the company Eagle Creek, but it works just fine for carrying everything in that I carry with me. Okay, now what I want to do at this point is show you a couple of things that I've purchased to use with these that will make them much more effective. Now, if you watch the video from Gear Skeptic where he talks about small portable filters, and he does talk about both the Sawyer Mini as well as the Hydro Blue VersaFlow, um, he makes the question, he doesn't say that this is a case of the fact, but he wonders why is it that the Hydro Blue is rated to flow much faster, and it is my experience, it will flow faster than the Sawyer Mini. If it uses the same technology, 0.1 micron fibers, how can water flow through this one faster than it does this? Now, he, it, it kind of suggests that maybe this one, the, the holes in the fibers are, are actually larger than they are in the Sawyer, and that is the reason why it flows through. It may also be the reason why the log reduction are a little bit uh, better for the Sawyer than they are for the VersaFlow. Um, I'm not quite so sure which if that's the case. What I can say though is I expect that there is more fiber packed in the VersaFlow than there is many by virtue of their size. Is that enough more fibers, therefore more flow, to can, more water can go through, more fibers to increase the flow rate uh, uh, that much, that significantly? Honestly, I don't know. And I'm not sure that I can answer that. I'm not sure Gear Skeptic actually answers that question either. Uh, the one thing that we will say about it is that the Sawyer does have the better log reductions in terms of, of bacteria and protozoa. Are they that much better that you should buy this filter over the VersaFlow? Well, that's a decision you'll have to make for yourself. I'm happy with the Sawyer. Actually, I'm happy with the VersaFlow. I think I have reduced the risk significantly for the areas that I am in. If I thought my water was likely more contaminated, and I don't know how contaminated it is, but it's a wilderness area, relatively pristine. Could there be Giardia, proto, uh, Cryptosporidians, and bacteria? Yeah, of course there is which is the reason why I'm using a filter at all. There are some places you know by looking at it that it's likely to be at least in greater concentration, so maybe you do want the Sawyer if that's where you backpack and where you collect your water from. Speaking of collecting waters, now this goes back to the reason why I was interested in getting a hold my hands on the VersaFlow uh, in the first place. When I got the Sawyer, I did try using the little bag that comes with it, and <laughs> if you have one of these, you know what I'm talking about. To try to get this to fill with water is a real challenge. If you're lucky, you can catch some water that is flowing down a stream. That'd be great. You can get a pop bottle and cut the bottom off and use it like a funnel to collect water. Another adaptation that you can use for filling this up. So there are ways of using this bag. Honestly, I just tossed it because once I became aware of another product, that's what I decided to go for. And this is the Canuck Vecto, and I have reviews on these, and these have been around now for just a couple of years, and what makes these different from the collection bags is simply this. You can open the end up, and 
fill the whole end of the bag. And that's all I need to do is hold the bag like this, reach into the water. I can scoop up at least two thirds of this full, fold the end back over, slide this on. Easier when you're wearing glasses, of course. I slide it on properly. There it goes, slide it on properly and then attach the filter to this end. It has the standard 28 millimeter screws. However, uh, I now have three generation of these Canuck Vectos and I still appreciate all of them. Actually, I'm still using all of them. But one of the things I discovered with the first generation was that uh, if unless this filter was screwed on just perfectly and you couldn't see the difference, just taking the bottom off of the filter here, what I found in screwing it on to the first one that I had is that occasionally I would get dirty water leaking out around the threads. And of course, any dirty water that leaks out around the threads are going to run down the filter into your clean water, contaminating, start all over again, right? So I wasn't happy about that. But what I had heard was that that was not the case if you bought the VersaFlow and that the, fil the threads on this were slightly different because at that time, I thought it was my Sawyer not the bag, I thought it was the Sawyer that was off in terms of the threads. So that you could take the VersaFlow, screw it on, and it would not leak. And it does not leak. There we go. It does not leak when I use it, so that's what I thought it was. Well, it turns out it was actually a combination of both. I remember when I was first testing the Canuck Vectos out that I wrote back to the company and mentioned that I was having this leaking issue. Second generation, they changed the threads ever so slightly and no more leaks. So that's all it took was just that. So was it the filter? Was it the bag? Was it a little bit of each? I'm not sure, but all the new generation, they are into a third, maybe even a fourth generation of these bags. All the new bags, there are no leaking occurring with the Sawyer. For that matter, it doesn't occur with the VersaFlow. What I will tell you now, of course, is that I would highly recommend, unless you really are a, uh, a glutton for punishment, is get rid of the bags that come with the filter and get yourself a Canuck Vecto. And this is the two liter version and they also come in three liter versions. They've actually gone now where they've uh, segregate bags of different colors so you can use one strictly for dirty water and one for fresh water collection, which is quite clever as well if you want to use them that way. So this is a great product and it is worth every dollar that you're going to pay for it. All right, let's see if I can wrap this video up with a few closing comments and come up with a winner of which one would I recommend over the other. Okay, well, to begin with, I don't think I can say one is a clear winner over the other. Both of them will meet and in the case of the Sawyer, exceed the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency's recommendation for log reduction of bacteria and protozoans. So they're both safe to use at, from that standpoint. Neither of them um, would be dangerous to use. However, the Sawyer does provide a higher level of, of removal of protozoans and bacteria, so a higher log reduction. And that just gives you the confidence that this will take you a little bit further in terms of being safe in the backwoods, especially if you are in an area you feel has a higher degree of contamination. I can say that the VersaFlow uh, is a faster filter, not significantly. I mean, it's again, I'm not in a rush out here, but if you are trying to get your water filtered that much faster, this one will do it a little faster. Having said that though, the Sawyer Squeeze, which was the precursor or the forerunner to the Sawyer Mini is still in production and it is faster again than this and really hardly any size bigger. It looks as if I'm leaning towards the Sawyer and I think I am. I am happy to use the Hydro Blue VersaFlow. I'm happy I have it. I um, actually am glad I didn't purchase it. I want to thank Chris for sending this to me and it was just one in a, in a uh, giveaway. But uh, knowing what I know now and I was asked which one would I purchase, it'll be the Sawyer, either the Sawyer Mini or there's a Sawyer Micro if the size is really a an issue for you, and there's the Sawyer Squeeze. I think my next filter, if I buy yet another filter, uh, will be the Sawyer Squeeze, just to get a little larger, a little bit more features out of it, a little faster flow rate, maybe a, not so much a longer shelf life or usage life because they're both rated for 100,000 gallons, but just because uh, for the few extra dollars you're gonna spend for the Squeeze over the Mini, 
you're just getting that much more filter. Oh yeah, I don't think I even mentioned the price of these two. So in their basic format, in terms of um, just the filter, the collection bag, and uh, in the case of the Sawyer, you get the uh, syringe and, and the hose. The Sawyer comes in at $40 and the VersaFlow comes in at $42. So really, price-wise, they're almost identical as well. And you likely can find them on sale or with coupons, different places you're going to shop for them. Uh, yeah, you can have either one. Both of them are good. I would use, I am using both of them. But again, if I'm going to replace the Sawyer Mini, it's going to be with another Sawyer product. So I think that's the best way to close it off. I really just wish that you could screw bottles onto both ends of it like you can with the Hydro Blue. Okay, if you have any comments or questions, then please put them in the comments section below. All the information I have given you will be in the video description as well as links to the companies. Uh, you can purchase these on Amazon and other places as well, but I'll link you directly to the company. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments section below, but until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.